In the last video, we hit the road full-time in our van after finishing the build just a few days before. We left Michigan and drove the van over 1,600 miles in three days and landed just outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico at our first BLM camping spot. But that was pretty much the last time that I did any talking to the camera or any real vlogging. So I'm just going to basically be here to kind of fill in the pieces and try to just make something out of the footage that I have instead of just letting it go to waste. Because I've been sitting on this footage for over a year now. We pretty much left almost a year ago to the day today. So yeah, I pretty much have all the footage here ready to go and cut up. And I'm just going to basically go through it and tell you guys the story of the trip like I would be catching up a friend. So I guess let's just get right into it. And after leaving the first spot in New Mexico, we got back on the road and headed towards southern Arizona because it was still a lot colder than we wanted in New Mexico. We basically drove all day and then we stopped at some BLM land near White Sands National Park and we were planning to go check that out in the morning. But the spot ended up actually being packed with people and we're not really used to camping so close to other people so that was definitely a little different and not exactly ideal. But honestly, for the most part, everybody kept to themselves and it was pretty quiet for being so busy. But we did learn a lesson with that and we were pretty much the only people that had our lights on in the entire spot. There's probably like 50 or 60 other vehicles there, but we were the only ones that had our lights still on like as we were cooking dinner. And we actually got our first knock on the van. All of a sudden it was only like seven o'clock, but it felt like it was midnight and you just hear, and I was just like, oh my gosh, who who would be knocking at our door in the middle of New Mexico? And it ended up being this guy that had this huge RV. He was super nice and apologetic. He was like, you were the only ones I thought were awake. And I just wanted to know if we'd be able to make our RV down this road. And I just kind of looked at him like, what, dude? I don't know. I don't have an RV and we didn't make it all the way down that road. So I don't know. But he was super nice. And that was a lesson learned that when you're camping around a bunch of other people, probably don't want to show a bunch of lights because you're going to draw attention to yourself. But we also noticed that most of the camping spots that are near the national parks um, that are free are just packed with people if they're listed on iOverlander or anything like that. So that was definitely different. But like I said, everybody was super quiet. So it ended up being not bad. The next morning, we planned to go visit White Sands National Park, but it was closed for missile testing, which I thought was pretty insane. So we ended up just pushing forward towards Arizona because it was still a lot colder in New Mexico than we wanted. My friends Riley and Camille had just moved from Detroit to Tucson and they invited us to come and park in their yard for a week. And for the first time on this trip, we finally had a safe place to park for like a week where we didn't have to worry about finding a new spot to park every night. I didn't film too much around her place just for privacy sakes, but they had such a cute little spot right in downtown Tucson. To be honest, I really enjoyed the Tucson area, and if we hadn't just started the trip, I would have loved to stay there a lot longer. It wasn't nearly as crowded as the Phoenix area, and it's literally surrounded by mountains with plenty of public land around. You can even drive to the top of Mount Lemmon, which I highly recommend doing. It's 27 miles of winding roads up to the top, but it is paved the whole way and the van made it with no problems. After almost a week in Tucson, we finally decided it was time to move on and we headed north towards the Phoenix area. And we were determined to find a spot to camp that wasn't gonna be packed full of people. We ended up finding the perfect spot just outside of the Superstition Mountains with literally nobody around, except for a few neighbors that didn't seem to mind us being around.
We ended up loving this spot so much that we stayed there for a few days and just enjoyed it. After a crazy couple weeks of pushing to try to finish the van build and get it done in the winter, and then driving all the way across the country the last week or two, being out in the middle of the desert with absolutely nobody else around is exactly what we've been waiting for. Then we woke up to our neighbors one last time and we decided it was finally time to move on. We headed back into the city because I was actually doing a partnership with Best Western on Instagram. So we got to stay at one of their properties in Tempe. And after three weeks of being on the road full time, we finally got to take a much needed break from the van. It ended up working out perfectly because I have family that lives in the area near Scottsdale and my mom and grandpa actually flew out to visit them. So of course we had to stop by and see them. You're gonna talk to the YouTube subscribers because you're a big star on there. Okay. What do you have to say about Arizona? What do you think? I like it. Yeah? I can leave here. You could live here. Yep. You heard it here on YouTube. And uh, he just made his homemade lentil soup for us. And it's probably the first home-cooked meal we've had in two or three weeks. So thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> It was so cool to see my grandpa out in Arizona. My uncle has a beautiful house in Scottsdale in a gorgeous neighborhood. And we, we were able to go with my grandpa driving and doing a little sightseeing. And we even went on a couple, a small little hike. And it was just so cool to see my grandpa out in Arizona. He seemed to really love it. And my uncle was actually driving them around in a Tesla. And just the look on him and my mom's face were so cool. It was so awesome to see them just like living their best lives because nobody deserves it more than them too. And it was just so nice because my family doesn't really do a lot of vacations we did a lot when we were younger but we haven't really gone anywhere like all of us with my grandpa in a long time so it was really cool just to kind of have that experience for me and he seemed to really enjoy it which was awesome so after a quick break from the van and getting to spend some time with family we headed back on the road and continued north towards Sedona it was the weekend of Easter Sunday though so the entire Sedona area ended up being a lot more busy and just way more touristy than we were expecting and you couldn't even park at the trailheads or anything. So as beautiful as it was, we decided that we would just drive through the park and come back when it's not a holiday weekend. But we did manage to find a pretty cool spot to camp for a couple of nights just outside of Sedona while we made plans to figure out what's next. <laughs> We had a few friends that wanted to meet up in Moab, so we got back on the road and started heading north towards Utah. We ended up driving through the Grand Canyon, but we didn't really stop for too long because both Andrew and I had been there before, and again, it was super busy because it was a holiday weekend. we did again manage to find a really cool spot to camp right outside of the park. This is when we realized the best thing to do is to use iOverlander in the free camping apps as like a guide to find a general area. But if you do your own research to find a more secluded spot, you're probably gonna not find anybody there because it seems like most people just go to the spots that are listed on the apps. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna end this one for now. Stay tuned for next week's video where we continue on our journey and we make it to Utah to camp with a couple of friends and some extra special guests. Mm -hmm.